Welcome everybody. I'm Joan Schnabel and I'm one of the um, volunteers here at the center. And we're going to do a, what we hope is a feeding program. Once in a while it's a non-feeding program. Um, what we'll probably do is bring her in. And we weigh her. Okay. Um, and then we'll bring her over and feed her. Um, let me tell you a little bit about Columbia. Columbia is our youngest bird. She's about six. Here's our girl. She's Columbia. Columbia still has some. Um, Columbia still has some immature characteristics. If you look at this bird, see how dark her head is still. That'll continue to get white. Um, kind of, yeah, wait a minute. Um, her eyes are light and she's already got a yellow beak and her tail looks pretty good. So watch out over here, guys. I don't want to step on you. Step up. Good job, Columbia. 4490. So somebody, can you remember that? I'll never remember. That's grams. So do you know what that would be in pounds? 10 pounds, yeah. That's about 10 pounds. Ooh, red meat, your favorite. Ooh, somebody just put some vitamins on it, so maybe it's not quite your favorite. You know, she's a carnivore. That's what she is. She doesn't eat fruits or vegetables or chocolate or soda. She's a meaty, meat and fish. That's what has a lot of acid in her stomach. But she's a real high acidity, low pH. So she's going to be able to digest all those bones. Uh, these birds get fed once a day. They get fed uh, anywhere from about half to um, three quarters of a pound. Um, in the wild, they probably eat a little bit more, especially if it's cold out. But this sucks. So these guys down, down here start nesting in February or March. 35-day incubation, sitting on the eggs. Both the male and female take turns doing it. They usually have one or two eggs, occasionally a real puppy nest on the three. Um, is, that, is there an egg up there? This is a model, but it's accurate. Um, so two, one to two eggs, occasionally three, 35-day incubation period. They hatch out their cute little fuzzy gray chicks in 10 to 12 weeks, they're this size. You gotta have a big nest, because if you have two of these and mom or dad in the nest, you got to have a big nest. Um, they are with their parents for this 10, or 10 to 12 weeks till they fledge. Fledging is when they leave the nest. Um, the parents stay with them all summer. Okay? Help, them, help them learn how to hunt, learn how to fish. And by, uh, by fall, everybody's on their own. We have most of our birds here between the months of November and um, March, when the birds come down from up north. Um, cold doesn't drive a bird, okay? This bird's got the, the original down coat. What do you think drives? Why does this bird have to move? Food. 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 Exactly. Your, your food supply freezes over, you gotta go. So that's, that's when you see most of the birds down here, although we do have nesting birds here as well. It's pretty hot now, so most of the birds are just going to be low. There's a lot of nest fidelity. They come back to the same nest year after year. They add more sticks each year. Um, so whether it's fidelity to the mate or fidelity to the nest, I don't know. Um, look at this bird. Look at the change in her demeanor. Can you, can you all appreciate that? Mm -hmm. You know, she's just getting a little old hyper here. Females are about a third bigger than males. Birds in Alaska are bigger than birds in Minnesota. Birds in Minnesota are bigger than birds in Florida. Yeah. Um, bald eagles um, live for um, in, in captivity. Sometimes they get in their fort. Don't. Just don't. Um, in captivity, sometimes they get in their 40s. Uh, the oldest bird in the wild who had a bracelet on her arm arm, leg, sorry, um, was 29 and a half. Lots of birds probably make it to um, their teen, you know, late teens and 20s. Because again, if you don't get breeding age till you're six, you know, you're, it's, you need a long life expectancy to make up for that. 80% don't make their second birthday. 
Okay, so there's a real high mortality for these birds early on. Lots of the babies die, but if they make it past those crucial years, then they live a long time. Right? What, uh, what? Wow! That's why I wanted some space here. <laughs> you guys were great. You were very, very good. Thank you. You almost got away from me. Yeah, I wasn't suspecting that. You were waiting till I was. You were waiting till I was off guard, right? <laughs> Walking what kind? Peregrine, right. Yeah, she's not built like that. She's not a peregrine. She's not the speed demon. She's going to want to get carried on that wind. I mean, she's capable of flying. Okay, and now, do you want a headwind or a tailwind? Do you want to ride your bike into the wind, or do you want to ride your bike with the wind pushing you? Exactly, and that's what she's going to do, too. These birds will ride thermals. Thermals are like a column of hot air. It goes up and up and up, and you'll see raptors do that, you'll see the pelicans do that. You get some altitude, and then when they've got that altitude, they just set those wings and off they go. They also slope soar. The wind comes across the Mississippi here, hits the bluffs on the Wisconsin side, and that also creates a wind current, and you'll see birds soaring up there too. These guys are great energy conservers. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't remember, but I mean, how much communication do you really have with them? <laughs> Looks like she's talking to you. <laughs> you know, that, she's not a pet, um, and I have great respect. <laughs> I have great respect for those talents. What makes this bird a raptor is her great eyesight, her sharp feet, but the real business end of this bird. Where's the business end of this bird? That's right. Um, so, so you know, they're 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 quite amazing. You know, they'll they'll get up on your fifth. They get up on your fist. They, um, they act like <laughs> <laughs> I, I sit, remember I started by saying they act like two-year-olds sometimes? I should also point out that if this bird was really hungry, I would not be doing this. I mean, if she's really hungry, she is aggressive, she mantles. Mantling is when you put up your feathers and you spread your wings and you cover your food. So that um, you know, it's like mine, um, and she's you know real grabby. And if she's really hungry, she would have eaten this all in about a minute flat. Um, so she's yeah, she's not so hungry. Uh, rat, I hate to say it, and I never feed rat. I will go to extreme lengths not to feed rat because sometimes by the end of the feeding, bird is like <coughs> slinging, and I do not like rat in my face. I can deal with fish in my face. I can't deal with rat in my face. That's probably their all-time favorite, but they they get all kinds of least. This is the bird I, I kind of am standing more side by side with her. Than... Ah, not the tail. No, 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 no. There you go. You. <laughs> um, you have to be real careful when they're baiting like that, and that's why you need this open <coughs> If she bates hard and hits the table or hurts the perch, she can break a wing, she can break feathers. So you, you really have to, and she is, don't you bite me. She's really strong. <laughs> She's very, very strong. Um. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Okay. And then I think it might be time for you to make your make your exit. Um, you know, see that? Okay, we'll do it this time too. Oh, see the bulge? Yeah. See that bulge on her? You guys see it? Right where the white, right below where the white is. Up in the chest. See it? That's where the. That's where it's. That's where it's